Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great and after a long while I got my belt grinder outside again and um, I had to find a way to do it myself without the help of my wife because she kept starting rolling her eyes so what I did is uh, I will first I shortened these legs because they were way too long and then I put some um, wheels on them two in the back none in the front to eliminate any wandering away I know there are wheels with brakes on them but they're expensive so I had to do this on a low cost uh, way so but it's still hard I still have to lift the whole weight to get it over the steps I have here steps I have a in between the rooms I have a step so anyway that was that I did get in the meantime also these end caps they don't fit 100% they have a different radius on the corners but still better than uh, without them and here and so I put the caps everywhere I could and now it does look better it's just optic of obviously and I also managed to get this wheel off again I bought a pulley with three arms to go in between here and but it that it kept slipping out and then I drilled six holes here and I had um, shaft holders that I screwed on here and then I got the pulley into the hole of the shaft holder and then that way I was able to pull it out and I enlarged the keyway and now it just fits perfect uh, it goes on snug it doesn't come off as you can see I did some grinding and I could still put a screw in here but I would have to use Loctite because I cannot uh, well actually I could put a washer here to make it even with this edge and then screw it down at least it won't come out it could go in but it doesn't so anyway what I did is I made another tool rest or parts rest table whatever and put some holes here it's because I had this in my room and I ran into this corner several times I cut myself up real good so to be able to machine these or sand them down on the belt grinder I need something else so I did this now and I will change it out for this one and work on this one and I got my I think I mentioned that small um, flat platen and I got some bearings that I can screw in here instead of this wheel to make it a small wheel attachment and then I just uh, fl not yeah uh, flip this forward you can see here I have the adjustment and then I have a small wheel attachment for stuff that I want to make or if I need it and um, yeah that's pretty much it I will exchange these and then of course this goes through MDF like nothing but even though it's still a 80 grit belt but we'll see what we can do with the aluminum so stay tuned it will only take a blink of an eye okay I did mount MDF version took the aluminum one off and then we'll see what we can do
that hammering noise you hear, that's the, that's this here. I mean, it's like a more than half a millimeter difference and every time this hits the pot, it does make a hammering noise. So this was actually it. That's all I needed. Um, once I built myself a knife rest, I will come back and make it like that. I don't wanna. I could do it by freehanding as well, but I wanna get it nice. And the reason why I have more radius here is because that's the side that's out, and this side is actually inside here, so it doesn't need that much of a radius. And I will also um, cut this out here. Uh, go like that, but I have to adjust the belt, of course, just as that it's right on the platen. And uh, but I will do that once I mount this back on the on here to have it exactly in the right position. So that's that and let me switch it back and then we'll see what we can do on here. Okay, I actually did knock off the edges here and went over here just as well on the back. And now it looks nice. It looks like brushed aluminium. <laughs> well, it is sanded aluminium, but Anyway, this is it for today, for this time. Okay, switched it back, but I did do it uh, with both hands. So you can get the idea here. Um, I have to file the edges by hand a little bit so I can go deeper in here. And uh, I will do that later on. But so far, of course, I'm loving it. And I can use these shorter Chinese belts, which are uh, 50 by 1800 instead of the no, 2 by 72 inch or 50 by 2000, the regular ones. And this one is a 50 millimeters by uh, 1800. So these are 20 centimeter shorter, but I can, if I move all the way back, I could of course adjust this as well, but I have it like that. So I know if I go back here, I can put these belts on, short ones. And if I move it further out, I can use the large ones, the standard two by 72 inch belts. Uh, my adjusting wheel works great. Everything works great. Obviously the motor is uh, strong enough, it's a uh, 2 horsepower and what I will do is probably uh, once I start using it more get a uh, aluminum contact, no, drive wheel, not contact wheel. I will get a contact wheel as well but replace that with the aluminum down the line but so far everything's working great. My VFT is mounted up here. And um, yeah, I love it. And I also have my next idea, which I wanted to make also. Um, I don't know exactly what they're called, but you know those metal uh, saws, the hand saws. And I want to make a machine, again with aluminum profiles and the motor to have that motorized and then be able to cut uh, aluminum or uh, steel stock with a vise on the bottom so you can put the part in and then cut it automatically without having to do it by hand and that is my next project and uh, yeah I'm glad I did this I might change the legs again because these are kind of flimsy and as you can see here but it works I mean the machine runs nicely, it's, uh, you're not uh, putting any force on it. Oh, see, I forgot to get do the edges. <laughs> I did the corners, I got the edge. 
so I will do that also. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And if you like to support my channel, there are links in my description for my Tindy store. And I'm also started selling on Etsy, but uh, I only put one product on there. I put the link in the description. I just want to see how it works because uh, actually on Etsy you have to pay to put your product on there. On Tindy you get only charged once you sell it. So I don't want to put uh, 20, 30 products on there and then have to pay every month their fee uh, plus the fee when you're selling it. So anyway, let me know if you want me to put it on there or not. What to put on there i will put uh, certain items that i don't put on tindy that are special order handmade or made to order um, i will put on etsy and um, so you can also hit the subscribe button if you like or the like button that doesn't cost you subscribe button doesn't cost you anything and if you want to you can buy me a coffee if you like or maybe become a patreon um, anyway, thanks for watching and take care everybody.